Let me tell you a little bit about refraction in general and Snell's Law. So here's refraction you might already be familiar with in general. Um, it is the bending of light. Actually, the light doesn't bend, it's redirected, but people say, oh, it's, it's bent. Um, no, it's just redirected in, in, in a different direction. So I'm going to give you an example, probably, hopefully something you, you're familiar with. So I'm going to have an interface between two materials, and the simplest case I can think of is you've got air here and water here. And think of it as a pond. Think of it going out to, to the lake or the beach. Very uh, clean, clear water, flat pond, flat surface. And, oh, the sun is shining, not like today or this week, but here's, this, here's the light. And some sunlight comes down, strikes the pond, and some of it is reflected off of the surface of the pond. Okay? So you've seen this before. Now, we, first of all, we use the convention when we measure angles for reflection and refraction to measure from what's called normal, which is a fancy name for perpendicular. So let me draw in here a normal, a reference. That's the normal. And this angle here, then, this angle from, here, here comes the sunlight. The angle from normal, I'll call it theta sub i for incident. And then the sunlight gets reflected, and that is theta sub r for reflected. And it turns out that uh, the th the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, or the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. And R equals theta I. And, and that's, it's a property of light. You can verify that by an experiment, not the one we're going to do today. But it also is a property of uh, a, a rubber ball, an elastic uh, projectile hitting a, a brick wall and coming back off. It comes out of conservation of momentum. And so this is one piece of evidence that led Isaac Newton to think that light was made of little particles that would be bouncing off of a, of a mirror. Okay, but we're not talking about reflection today. We're talking about refraction. So we're going to look at the light that goes into the water. What happens is the, the light does not go straight. So if it went straight, it would keep going this way, but it gets redirected closer to normal when it goes into the water. How much? Well, we'll get qualitative or quantitative in just a little bit. So the light goes through here, and I'm gonna call this, again, the angle of, away from normal, I'll call this theta sub t, t for transmission, because it's transmitted into the water. And this is refraction, when the light is redirected. Now, in the lecture course, you'll learn more about this. There's a, a derivation of, of how this works. Um, you can look at it as ray optics in where you minimize the time of flight of the light. Or you can actually also derive this from wave optics where you think of the light as waves and the waves travel slower in the water. We're going to characterize both of these materials by um, uh, a, a, a a property that we'll call the index of refraction. So this one is, I'll call it N1, is 1.0, that's for air. And this one I'll call it N2. And this one, it turns out the value is 1.33 for water. This N is the index of refraction. And You'll also learn in the lecture course that this is this is the ratio of the speed of light to in, in the material to the sp speed of light um, in actually the speed of light in vacuum, which we call C, to the speed of light in the material, which is slower than the speed of light in vacuum. This is the maximum speed in physics, and this is slower. So light travels slower in water than it travels in air, and this ratio is always 
greater than or, e or equal to 1.0. And in fact, for air, it's very much close to a vacuum. We'll take it to be 1.0. So that's the qualitative behavior of refraction. The light rays get redirected. And when they go into something with a higher index of refraction, they go closer to normal. Um, when they come out of the higher index, like from water, then they actually move away from normal. You can see this here in this diagram very easily because light can actually go both ways. If you had a source of light down under water, the light ray would come up here, and when it gets to the surface, it would be re redirected away from normal. Okay, so that's the qualitative behavior, and now we can get quantitative, and that's called Snell's Law. And if we use, I'm going to change the notation here a little bit. I used incident reflected and transmitted here. And let me just redraw this to, uh, oh, I wanted, I'm sorry, I wanted uh, a dashed line for the normal. Let me fix that here. Okay, here's our surface again. And this will be just will be just be material one with index n one, and this will be material two with index n two, and this was just to be the normal, so dashed lines. This is right. That's perpendicular. So now, and and it's just to change the notation a little bit to match the handout. The light ray comes in at I'll call this now theta one. Everything on this material, which does not have to be air, it can be anything. Uh, theta 1 is the incident angle coming in in material that has index refraction 1. And then this might go closer to normal or farther away. Let's, let's have it go closer today. This is theta 2. And so now this is very general. The angle here on this side is uh, theta 2 is, corresponds to the index of this material. This is this line is the interface between two materials. It could be air, water, but in fact for our experiment this will be air and this will be glass. So here's the quantitative result. We're going to test this. And the result is called Snell's law. N1 times the sine of theta1 is N2 times the sine of theta2. So one of the things that you can do in this experiment is plot the data to confirm, in, in a way, that confirms that this, this actually holds, that it really is true. You, test, you can test Snell's law. We can do more than just test that. We can actually extract some information from it. But one of the, one of the goals of the experiment is to confirm Snell's law.